Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and I've been reading the comments on my YouTube channel today, and one of the most common questions I have regarding the Hornet targeting pod is how to track a moving target. So rather than answer the same question um, a dozen times, I thought it'd be easier just to make a quick video to demonstrate it. So let's go ahead and first uh, slew the pod to an airfield where I have a vehicle moving down the runway. Uh, field of view change and zoom in a bit and there she is. So when tracking a moving target contrast is king. You know you get a lot more contrast using the FLIR than the CCD camera. Now uh, very much the lock ranges are being tuned to be as realistic as we can but also as you might imagine uh, these are values that are um, you know, a bit more difficult to find. But for the uh, CCD you'll generally get a lock at around starting six miles and the FLIR around 12. So right now we see we're about 13 miles out, so let me go ahead and change to the FLIR. And all we do now is we'll place the uh, reticle just a little bit above uh, in front of the target. Then we'll go to uh, area track, point track, and lock them up. Pretty much uh, easy as that. Anyhow, again, we're going to be uh, uh, tuning those values a little bit. But as you can see, even right now, particularly with the FLIR camera, it can be pretty easy to lock up targets. Anyhow, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.